at least we still have a little light at this hour. The sun is setting later and later, which means that we are seeing signs of spring, but not today and not tonight. We're going to have some of the coldest temperatures we've seen so far this season. Two degrees right now in Fargo. It feels like it's 15 below. Clear skies, of course, out there and wind steady out of the northwest at 13 miles per hour. Here's another look at those temperatures. Again, the coldest area is right in northwestern Minnesota. Six below in Rose Thief River and Bemidji at four below. Still hanging on to those two degrees in Fargo. Fargo and zero right now in Valley City, too, as well out toward Jamestown. When you factor in those wind speeds in the teens and some even 20s, we do have some wind chills that are starting to get a little rough out there. Southeastern North Dakota, not as bad. We're in the teens below. 32 below already, though, in Halloc for our wind chill. 20 below over in Fergus Falls, 22 below in D Detroit Lakes, and Bedette also at 22 below uh, for the moment. Again, that wind chill warning kicking in later tonight at 9 o'clock. Wind speeds and and gusts are out of the north, northwest. We're seeing mainly some teens, but some places where they're gusting into the 20s, 22 miles per hour in Fergus Falls. So that's really taking or putting in a bite into the air. Good thing here is that we do not have any snow to show you, no freezing drizzle, which has been plaguing us all season. And speaking of being plagued by the weather, east coast, eastern third of the U.S., another winter storm. More snow for Boston right now all the way down toward New York, so they just can't catch a break there on the East Coast. Here, it's the cold that we're dealing with. So for tonight, we'll walk you through our hour-by-hour hour forecast to show you those temperatures. We'll continue to slide this evening, all of us well into the negative range by around 10, 11 o'clock tonight with those temperatures in the teens below in a lot of spots. And the areas in purple here, these numbers, this is the wind chill. So winds already uh, bringing our wind chills down into the 30 below range by late tonight. If you're heading out for dinner, Make sure you bundle up and have uh, your winter survival kit on hand, especially if you're going to be traveling in the country for tonight and tomorrow morning, too, because look at these temperatures. 20 below our low for tomorrow in Fargo. Up to the north, mid-20s below to start off our day as those temperatures drop like a rock overnight. And those wind chills again into the 40s below, 41 below to start off at 8 a.m. tomorrow in Fargo. 44 below in uh, Grand Forks, and there will be some places that approach or actually get to 50 below overnight tonight. More likely into that northern part of the viewing area where our temperatures will be about 5 degrees colder than we are in the southern valley. So that's going to be a big concern, of course. You do not want to get caught up in this kind of weather. And, of course, your pets and uh, livestock need to be protected. Bring your pets indoors. Tonight's one of those nights that uh, animals should not be outside. And by the noon hour tomorrow, not much help for us. Temperatures will be right Rising, but we're going to stay well below the zero degree mark all day long across the valley. Temperatures at noon into the teens below with again those wind chills into the 30s below. So slight improvement. And as we move ahead toward the afternoon hours, our highs single digits below zero in eastern North Dakota, double digits in a lot of places in northwest Minnesota. That's our high for the day. A frigid, frigid Sunday. And as we look ahead toward the afternoon, a few more clouds just here and there, but it's going to be another clear day. Temperatures later tomorrow evening. Again, staying in the teens below zero. But here's the good news. Look at the wind. It's still on the stronger side, gusting into the teens, which is going to still bring down our wind chills. But it's shifting to a more southwesterly direction, and that's going to start introducing warmer air out of the south for late tomorrow night and into Monday. We make a quick recovery. So one day of super cold here with a high of seven below. And then Monday, warming right back up into the 20s. 23 below our high on Monday. A few flakes roll by on in the Northern Valley Monday night and into Tuesday as another cold front moves in. So then those temperatures take a, another nosedive by midweek, but nothing quite comparable to what we're about to see over the next 24 hours. Be prepared. Make sure you bundle up if you're traveling. Let people know of your plans in case your car stalls mm -hmm. and you want to have that winter survival kit in your car with you. Good things to keep in mind. Sure.